Welcome to DEF CON 3. I'm KT McFarland. I'm in Jerusalem in Israel and I'm talking to one of the leaders, in fact the founder of the high-tech industry in Israel, Jonathan Medbev. He's the founder and CEO of Our Crowd. And you've been compared to the Bill Gates of Israel. How did it all happen? <laughs> Silicon Alley? But it's now Silicon Israel. It's Silicon Israel. Look, we're the second most important source of innovation. Things people want to get a hold of that's the next big thing, it's coming from here. It's coming out that window. And today, we have never had so many startups. It's a record year. It looks like $3 billion being invested in 700 startups, 20 plus Israeli IPOs in Wall Street. Companies that are changing the world are going public, like Rewalk, who allow uh, paraplegics to get up out of their wheelchair and to walk again. Okay, that's an Israeli company that is now you know, say, essentially changing lives. Companies like Mobileye that are doing automobile collision avoidance systems mm -hmm. so that you're not going to run into things teaching your car to see, which is a good idea. And this is all happening here in Israel. It's happening together with the United States. There's a huge element of, of uh, cooperation between our two countries. You know, when you think Israel's a population of what, 8 million people? Right. The United States is a population of over 300 million people. Thank God. Why did it happen in Israel? What are, the, what are the essential ingredients? Okay, so there are a couple of things. Number one, we have this unbelievable military to defend ourselves. And we had to actually develop a lot of the weapons that we use. We also uh, develop weapons together with the U.S. People saw some of that brilliance in Iron Dome mm -hmm. during our last couple of wars where we shoot missiles out of the sky. This kind of technology leads to commercial applications. So it turns out that there are companies, for example, we have a company in our portfolio now called Clipfort. What Clipfort does is it makes guns safe. It literally puts a biometric reader in a magazine for a handgun or for a, uh, a long gun, and it basically won't allow a criminal to steal it. If your kid, God forbid, gets a hold of it, he can't hurt anybody. And this is directly from the military going to save lives and to let people use guns legally, of course, you know, in their, in their lives. We have a company called VocalZoom, which is essentially taking um, the vibrations that are coming off of my face, optically reading it, so you can now do effective speech recognition. So in your car, if you, don't, if you actually want to send a text or something, you don't have to use your fingers. You'll be able to talk without Siri saying, I don't get you, okay? okay. It'll, it'll read the vibrations on your face. We're co-investing in that company with a U.S. car manufacturer, with a big U.S. communications company, and with 3M. So it's all about this cooperation between the U.S. and Israel. It's about our military. It's about our attitude towards risk. Israelis are risk takers. We live in a risky place. But, you know, get over it. Okay, go and make something happen. And it's about the sense that here in Israel, we believe that creation is important. You know, we're all partners with God. You know, the world was not created as a fixed entity in six days. It's up to man to complete the work. And that's sort of the ethos that I think informs a lot of Israeli high tech. Well, what have been the most successful things? You know, you're an investor, right? You right. create companies, but you also invest in somebody right. else's ideas. What's been the most exciting, successful one you've done? Well, uh, <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> I'm actually an investor now okay. uh, in an American company, uh, a company called The Lending Club that just went public uh, last week in, in uh, New York. It's been wildly successful. I was brought there by an American friend. And what I do now is I have a, uh, a website called Our Crowd. Right, Our Crowd and, is your and, company. And what we're doing yeah. is we're crowdfunding these new ideas so that everybody can become a, a successful investor, hopefully. Basically, guys come to us with cool ideas. We do the diligence. We check them out. We negotiate the terms. And then we put them up on the web. And they say, come and join us if you'd like. Do your own diligence. Mm -hmm. We put up both Israeli companies and American companies. So, for example... Uh, right now on the web is, are two American companies. One is a company called uh, Social Bicycles, which is a guy out of the New York bike lending uh, program who's figured out a way to do much better lending, and his revenue is going up, and that's uh, on the site. We also have a company, another American company, called Borrow, which is another online lending platform. Uh, actually, we're co-investing with the same guys, some of them who invested in Lending Club. But on the side of that, we got this company, Clip Fort with a Gun, we got VocalZoom, and it's all about this Israeli-American thing where you basically can go to our website and you can join literally thousands of investors. We have 6,000 signed up. If you have to be accredited, though, the problem at the moment is that according to U.S. securities law, right. you actually have to have a million dollars of assets 
or a two hundred thousand dollar <laughs> income. Okay, Oops. but there are ten million households in America that actually meet that criteria. Believe it or not. And uh, we like them to join us. I think the laws will be changing soon, which will allow people to more broadly get into this. But the whole world of technology is just getting started. And to be an investor in technology, there are going to be bumps along the road. Okay, things are going to go down. And they're going to go back up. But long term, it's going that way. And the beauty here is that Israel and America together can't be beat. We're our companies that are you know going to America are creating American jobs. The exciting thing I, I, I see is that. Take uh, an area like Massachusetts, which is you know a powerhouse in technology and biotech. There are 200 Israeli companies now operating in Massachusetts. They generate essentially three percent of the Massachusetts GDP. They've generated over 20,000 Massachusetts jobs. But it's not just Massachusetts. Up the road in Vermont, one of Israel's companies, Plasan, employs as many people as Ben and Jerry's. Okay, but it's in Mississippi and it's in Walker, Michigan, and there are people who are essentially getting a chance to work in a good job, you know, a, a high tech job, because of this Israeli innovation. And then a lot of the big American companies come along and buy these little Israeli startups. So you've got. Intel here in Israel with 10,000 employees. So much work is going on with Intel that really Intel's logo should say Israel inside. But some people have joked and said, "Wait, but they're 10 percent of your exports. Maybe Israel's logo with a menorah should say Intel inside." Okay, <laughs> but it's Google who are here and Facebook who are here and Cisco and Microsoft. They're all here, and it's this partnership between Israel and America which I find so exciting. Well, you've certainly gotten me awfully excited. And so thank you so much for joining us. The Jonathan Medved, obviously the, one of the great innovators and technology giants of our time, any time, and in Israel and in the United States. That's it for DEF CON 3. If you want to know more about what's going on in the Middle East or even more about technology, go to foxnews.com.